Having learned many valuable lessons at the Herding Academy, Veronica and her team are preparing to put theory into practice. But first, a number of vital details need to be covered. Morgen gaan ons net basis begin saam ons hantering van die skaap. Ons noem het sommer maar by ons low stress dog handling. Veronica has invited two shepherds from the Herding Academy to demonstrate their methods to a group of communal farmers and their Nurechas counterparts. Almal weet maar as jy nou sal achter die skaap staan, dis wat ons noem sy blinde spot, achterom. Hy kan jou nie sien nie ongelukkig so, hy sal nie reageer op jou nie. Hy sal altyd wil probeer omdraai om te kyk waar is jy. So, ons probeer maar om baie min stress op ons dieren te sit, vooral in nabij lamtijd. As maar net oplet, waar jy jou, jou skaap vang wat belangrik is vir, as jy nou enig iets doen, dat hy been nie breek jy. Ja, dis maar nou die manier hoe ons om verstaan. Maar, hy sal maar nou so'n bietje rond staan, maar hier is jou, hier is jou stop verstaan om, want jou vaas om nie, want jy gaan om verwerg, jy hou om maar net verstaan, maar dan, hier is jou grip, staan en jy druk om in jou been, hy kan nergens gaan nie, as jy nou weer erg rond staan nie, verstaan. Dis hoe ons hulle maar nou net, en dan, ok, ook maar ons sal maar net, by my nou, ek sal om hier in sy bek gryp, en ek druk om hier waar my hand achter is en ek kan sy blad opdeel hy sit staan ja nee, sy spat die baie stress hier sys, maar hy is zwaar is daar opies I'm very proud to be a herder want to be called a herder because to me it's literally what I do to the land that I've worked with so for me it's a privilege to be in a herder and seeing the things that we've done and achieved on the land that we're busy with. I wasn't directly exposed to farming farming practices, understanding the, the grasses, what the sheep like to eat. So only recently now that we've decided to farm, I've said before I'm not a farmer, I'm becoming one quickly, I'm enjoying it, but um, the consultants have come onto the farm to guide us because it actually makes me feel more secure knowing that people that have tried the methods that we want to try or are more familiar with the grass types, habits of sheep, can and can just give us a base of knowledge, or me a base of knowledge to work from. You meet many farmers as you go along, they've got different ideas, there's a Suffolk sheep, somebody said put a Suffolk ram on your meat masters, somebody says do this, don't do that, and <laughs> we're going to do what we're going to do, we're going to buy meat master rams and we're going to breed them with the dorpers and slowly just have a whole meat master flock, but our intention is not to do stud breeding, our intention is to get good grazing, good land, and good meat to the population as a food source. Today, Veronica, along with Johnny and Julian, are buying meat master sheep, a different breed from those that have traditionally been farmed on Murachas. Veronica doesn't like the anthropocentric name meat masters, and so has decided to call them felt masters instead. Their primary task will be to improve the land. Farmers in the area farm with felt masters that stay in a flock. For our purposes of high impact grazing, it will make the shepherding process easier. They're apparently very fertile and they're good meat to eat as well. Having recently been through an introduction to low stress sheep handling, the team grow concerned about what they are seeing, especially when they realize many of the ewes are pregnant. That's why we don't want to um, put them through that thing again, a lot of pregnant ones. But from here, things seem to deteriorate. Watching them loading sheep onto a truck 
is horrific when you have the sense that they've had absolutely no training in stress-free handling of animals. Sheep are intelligent animals and standing watching them for a while I thought if you just put the ramp up and gently guided them Das gilt immer wieder. Da war es nur wieder ins Kopf gekommen. Uppelos. Uppelos. Wie die Gier sind in die Klöwe, die hier ist von ins Kopf weit. Es da die Hecke und Stampe, die nicht draht, was das verursacht. Ich kann nicht so werden. Was kann hier so werden mit Skab? Alle sind auch nicht drachtig. Was kann besser mit der Lange? Oi! 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 The offloading made me feel sick. They were pretty much, some of them were thrown down the ramp. We have um, you with a broken leg, and I, I never want to be part of anything like that again. To see a truck driver with his taser prodding one sheep at the back to try and get them all to move. I got onto the truck because I thought there has to be a way of calming the sheep rather than making them feel so anxious. Then I moved to the first compartment where they were and I just put my hands on their backs and I just started whistling and they all faced the ramp. They're pregnant, they need to be very carefully looked after. I will go and read up more about it, I'll find out more about it, and if I'm ever near a, a, a truck that's loading or unloading sheep, I hope to be able to make it a less stressful period. And I have regrets, I do have regrets that I wasn't more prepared and informed for that process. The Narujas team have started a series of meetings to thrash out a grazing plan the most crucial aspect of regenerative farming. Wendy, a temporary intern, has also joined the group. The grazing plan will guide how the flock will be herded across the farm and the time they will spend in each area. The soil, the grass, the sheep and wildlife are all taken into account. We sat down with our maps in front of us, our charts so carefully laid out and we had all our little blocks. I even bought glasses for Johnny because he couldn't count his little box properly, his reading glasses. And we were set to go. And then two days later we went and bought some more felt masters and realised they were all pregnant. And that's not how our plan was set up. So we had another meeting and we sat down and thought, what do we do? And we started all over again. I'm so excited to see at last what the product of our planning is and of our learning. We have never learned to look at the land while sheep farming. We look at the health of the sheep, we move them from camp to camp, but the actual land, what are we doing with the rainfall, what are we trying to achieve, all just makes sound sense to all of us. There were some revelation moments for people that have been working on the land for years and years and years to say, actually, we hadn't thought of that before.
From now on the shepherds will be with the sheep day in and day out, moving them as a herd over the land and protecting them from predators at night. Johnny's youngest son, Ruan, will be one of the herders. Onze poging is om die vee al te herstel. Maar die droom altijd om op een plaats te wees. Van die liefde, die liefde wat hy vir een plaas het, het ek hier vir die dorpie. Ek het op een plaas groot geraak, en my liefde was op een plaas. Vanmorgen, toe ons die skaap op water toe vat, het ek oor een gaat getrap en een pofvader het uitgekom. Soos ek loop, is ek al die verzichtig om gevaar te stel. Op die plaats maak ons geen dier dood maak nie. Ruan is keeping a diary of the herding day. Ek so loop en maak opmerkings van die natuur en wat ek gesien het. Johnny is nearby watching the opposite flank of the herd. Ons voel nou meer deel van hierdie boerderie van Veronica. Van sy laat laat ons ook in saal lever in die bezigheid. Ons is nie net daar om die werk te doen nie. Ons kan nou vir haar sê nie so en so. Om die ding vir ons en vir haar gemakkeliker te maak. En jy geniet het mis baie meer as jy ook in saal lever in iets. As wat jy net met orders moet uitvoer. Every evening the flock will be kraled out in the felt with the shepherds camp beside them to keep them safe. But the new mobile kraal made of cargo netting requires constant attention. After two days, despite the challenges of keeping a flock that is hell-bent on dispersing together, it's time to take stock of how the new system of shepherding is working. <laughs> so as ons na hierdie twee daar dink, ons was almal so kort, oh. unawares, <laughs> hoe die daar gaan kyk en lyk en wat gaan gebeur. Maar van my uit sig, as ek nou dink aan wat ek sien as ek kom, hanteer jy dit so goed. Want ek kan sien dit is moeilik <laughs> en ek kan sien jy voel moeg. Als het na kan toegekom, ek het uitgesien na die week en Dat is net, uh, ek kan nie beskryf nie, dit is net onge, ongelooflik. Dat dinge net vir ons so, ons allemaal, in plek, in plek val. Ek is net vir alles dankbaar. Gelukkig. En moeg. Maar uh, dit maak net die dinge soveel makkeliker, dit wat, wanneer ons hier met mekaar geseel sê. Ja. En daar vind jy ook in nie, maar wacht, ek moet daar maar een extra kie, om die dinge vir ons makkeliker te maak. The sense of harmony is not to last through the night. The radio call brings Veronica and Julian back to the shepherd's camp. Usman, one of the dogs, has been stung by an extremely dangerous scorpion when four of them crawled into the camp after nightfall. The granulated thick-tailed scorpion is responsible for a number of human deaths every year. Usman is treated with a local remedy to try and get rid of the toxin. You see where it's happened? Can you see any more? Definitive on the on the food that is so dry. Let him leave the more or less. I think so. Let him go. 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 Without the dog Busman to alert them to jackals, the night settles uneasily. It was not five minutes too late. The jackals was now so 100, 200 meters from the kraal. Gisteren had they here so, they had a copy of the kraal. 
Kom eens maar kort, kort uit met die. Tots. Lig eens maar zo. En ik zet de drink nou daar, drink goed. Toen mijn oog, toen zie ik mij hier beweegt iets en ik kijk daar. En ik zie mij met bijen schellen. Ik zal wel doen, zeg hier jakkels. Ik heb nou die schaapbreek gekregen. En dat gaat moeilijk weer zijn, man. Tik hier. But there's another problem. Die roei van die lam en van die oei. Dat is wat die daar kago net op opdeelt. Maar die eet die penniekie zomaar eet er ook. Want hij is me sterk. En wat die goed dan onder die eet. A head count will show that luckily there are no sheep missing this morning as they head out into the felt for another day. Even better than that, left behind in the kraal are two unexpected felt master lambs, the first to be born on Nurekha's farm. In the evening, the flock returns to the kraal for the night. Johnny is worried. Ik denk, ze kan misschien na weer hij weer geweest zijn. The problems with the fence have made it into Rowan's diary. We zien dat één dorp er ooit met z'n twee lammers buiten die kraal liggen. En let op dat hulle bij die net uit is bij die werk wat laag liggen. Om, let om die kraal beweeg en die pennen rondom die kraal vastgeslaan. Later, friends join the herders at the encampment to pray. Mag de Heer zijn liefde aan jullie bewijs, zoals jullie aan die oorledenis en aan mijn liefde bewijs het. Aan die een kant lee achter een ompad van 2020. Met al zijn verrassings en voor mij die onbekende wonder wat gaan wees, pad van 2020. Heere, dank u dat ons kan op een open veld staan om ons vader als een klein groepie mense om je ons vader in naam groot te maak. The next morning, with the shepherds out with the flock, work to strengthen the kraal gets underway when Johnny unexpectedly returns to report on what happened the previous night. A jackal had managed to get right into the kraal with the sheep, whose bleating alerted the shepherds before any damage was done. I said, I don't say here jackals. We had now this car break. That was hard for me to get out of the car. We had to get out of the car. Where the kraal stood, the ground has been worked well by the sheep and is ready to absorb the next rains. But the mobile crawl is declared a failure. Another solution will have to be found to keep the sheep safe from jackal. I get rid of it. Maybe try to get my net back up, but I get rid. There was all helicopters. There was gyrocopters. There was a nachtskut with a bucky. There was a jachter with a hond. Hier was slag is er al gesteld. Hier was hokken geweest. Alle skiet en vang, maar jackels blij, blij jackels. For tonight, the shepherds have retreated with the sheep into a permanently fenced kraal. Osman, the sheepdog, has recovered and is back on duty. Hier is opzet wat is nou weer het. Is om mij bietje bij je beter om toezicht te kou. Van zoals nu vanavond was gaan vier ook maken en die honden zo hier daar gaan nu niet meer lammers vast en die en die kralen. Without a mobile kraal, an important element in regenerative farming, it's back to the drawing board with yet another grazing plan, the third in almost as many days. This one will incorporate the complexity of protecting the sheep in existing fenced-off areas until a new jackal-resistant mobile kraal can be made. And we'll see what we can do.